Well, good afternoon, Pastor Hayton and the Lower Lights Devotional. I'm sitting out here on my back deck, just ready to spend a very few minutes with you today, talking about a wonderful promise. I posted it on Facebook last night because it seemed like that promise just kind of became real to me late in the evening, looking back over the many, many times that God has been faithful to supply our needs. So, Philippians 4:19. Most of us that have been reading our Bible for any length of time at all, and have been walking with God for any time, we know that that is just simply a verse that says, My God shall supply all of your needs according to His riches in glory through Christ Jesus. So, it's a verse that's very familiar, and perhaps you learned it at an early age. You've heard many messages preached from it, and uh, what a wonderful promise it is. I grew up hearing my dad talk about as a young preacher trying to you know pastor small churches and take care of his family talking about incidents where God was faithful to supply his need I know that uh, we had testimony meetings back when I was a kid on Wednesday nights people came to prayer meeting didn't seem to be any too big a hurry to go home we always had a Bible lesson and we always spent time in prayer then people would get up and testify I remember as a child hearing people talk about how God had been faithful to, to meet, meet some specific need in their life. And of course, like I say, we've heard it preached on, and we've heard people testify to God's faithfulness. But I remember as a child, of course, I had my dad take care of me. My dad was a hard-working dude, and he always did whatever necessary to take care of his family and to trust God to do what he could not do. But as I got older, I began to realize that sometimes we do have a need. And I know that uh, when we have any kind of a need, generally we think of that as being a financial need. Lord, you know I've got too much month left at the end of the money, and uh, so I need you to supply my need. Sometimes it's a physical need. It seems like that, uh, you know, the pain or the suffering is intense, and uh, we wonder how much longer we can bear up under it. And so we ask God to give us the strength and the courage that we need, give us the endurance that we need to go through whatever it is that we're going through. Sometimes it's an emotional need. We are emotional creatures and we have a lot of emotional needs. And sometimes we just may feel all alone and feel like that uh, we're helpless or hopeless. And we look to God and say, Lord, you know my need of somebody to... Uh, or love me or somebody that uh, uh, can strengthen me in some way. Uh, it can be a emotional need that God is interested in just as much as the physical or the material needs. But I believe God's interested in meeting our spiritual needs. And I think that they're far more than what we like to think about. And certainly many people would not confess to a spiritual need. But there are times that we have a spiritual need. We aren't as close to God as we once were. We seem like that our faith has been bent or badly damaged and seem like sometimes we're way down in the valley of discouragement and just a lot of different things can pull us away from God and take away the peace and the joy that God wants us to experience as His children. And I consider those to be spiritual needs because God wants us to be close to Him. So whatever our need may be, I'm glad that God has promised to supply every need. And I'm so thankful that down across the years of my life, I haven't had to just believe that it's true because God's Word says it. I haven't had to just take other people's word for it. But I have personally, time and time again, experienced God meeting my need. So God will supply your need today, whatever it is, Put your faith and your trust in Him. Heavenly Father, You've given us that wonderful promise. May we step out on it according to our need. We know that we won't be disappointed. Bless us throughout the remaining part of this day. Have Your way in our hearts and lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share. See that shadow there makes it look like I've got a big spot on my shirt, but it's just the sun coming through the leaves. My shirt is solid red. Goodbye now.